Now before we get into the video, you may notice I did a bit of rebranding for my channel. I hired two artists, one by the name of Loomis, who did my new banner art, as you can see on screen right now, and Diem, who did my new profile picture. You can find both of these guys in the description of this video. So I know I already made my 7.0.0 tier list, and you can check that out in the description below, and I think I stand by most of it, but you know what really grinds me about tier lists? Tournament performance and top player opinions. Usually top player opinions are usually believed by the community that that character is only as good as the top player says. Which there's literally nothing wrong with that, it's just with the case of, like, characters like Samus, everyone said she was a mid-tier at best, and now top players like Esam are putting her in top 25. So that brings us to the topic of this video. How can we make a tier list with no top player bias and tournament results? How about we look at characters as a whole? So I'm going to go over a system that I created. You will rate every character in Ultimate over a couple different aspects of the game. Them being advantage, disadvantage, recovery, damage, keeping opponent off the stage, ability to kill, and frame data. Once you rate all of these categories 1 to 5, take the average of all the categories and this is how you will sort them into the tier list. Anything below 2.0 is ultra low tier, 2.5 to 3.0 is low tier, 3.0 to 3.5 is mid tier, 3.5 to 4.0 is high tier, and anything above 4.5 is top tier. I left a Google Doc in the description that you should be able to save and edit for yourself. Just take a look at it and you should understand pretty quickly how to fill out the form. So now that that is all out of the way, we can go ahead and get into my personal opinions on the characters. Keep in mind, I would say I only have a good say on where, where three characters stand on this list, that being Samus, Roy, and Mario. So if something sounds totally wrong, keep in mind I do not play most of the characters in this game. I try to get a lot of opinions from certain character discords, but most of them would not let me advertise a survey. Some of them did though, which I will be sure to mention which ones did. So without further ado, let's get to this video's characters, which are the Smash 64 characters. Starting with Mario. On screen, you can see what I rate Mario. I will only spend a little time for each character because I don't want the video to be too long. So Mario, he has an amazing combo game. Insane throw combos, no trouble killing, good frame data, he does suffer a little when it comes to getting to the ledge, but not enough to hinder anything. Overall, a very good character with a bit of with a bit of a smaller hitbox as well. Next we got Donkey Kong. When DK gets you in disadvantage, you take so much damage. But that's probably the only thing good about him. He's a heavy, so in general, all heavies have a hard time in disadvantage. Some have a hard time getting back to stage even. DK is no exception. He can deal the damage, but it's real hard for him to do a whole lot of anything else. Having powerful but laggy moves and a questionable recovery can't get you very far on this list. Now Link is one of the harder characters to rate. Zoners slash ballers have a hard time keeping advantage, because when they have advantage, they aren't necessarily keeping them in disadvantage, and more so just trying to keep the characters away from them. Link has a good projectile game and an insane combo game if you know what you're doing with his bomb. His damage is good, his ledge trapping is very good, he can get it out of disadvantage pretty easily because of his nair, and he has no problem at all killing. He does have some pretty laggy moves though, and that might hinder his place just a little bit. So now we come to my main Samus. Keep in mind this all goes for Dark Samus as well. I'm sure I have some bias with this, but I think Samus has one of the best advantage in the game. It is very hard to land versus her. Her combo game is stupid good, being able to recover with more bombs makes it impossible to gimp her if your name isn't Jigglypuff or Kirby. Her and Snake probably have the best ledge trapping in the game. Samus can kill early, set up kills, and so on. Samus has a pretty bad advantage to so, so it may hinder her placement. For Yoshi, I had no real idea what to rate. He's pretty good at advantage, pretty dang good combo game. I don't think he has too many tools to keep people off the ledge. He's got no real issue killing, his recovery was kind of confusing to me though. Not having a real up B makes it hard to rate, so I just rated it a 3. Please let me know what you would rate his recovery in the comments. Moving on to Kirby. A lot of people that play Kirby watched my last video and did not like my placing of him, so maybe the system I've come up with will put him a higher. Probably not though. As far as I know, Kirby has no real special advantage state. He's pretty floaty and doesn't have a real good move to get out of disadvantage. His recovery is pretty good due to multiple jumps. Damage is very low and his ability to kill is limited to probably just smash attacks. He has decent frame data, and that's about it. Now let's talk about a pretty amazing character in my opinion, and that's Fox. Fox has a super good advantage state that will result in you taking lots of damage. Because he's the fastest faller in the game and has that neutral air, he basically just doesn't have a disadvantage state. His recovery can go super far, but he is super vulnerable while in it. So it's good, but not great. He has tons of tools to keep people off the stage. Nair in general is so safe and leads to many combos. He has like no lag on his moves as well. Now for who is arguably the best character in the game? Pikachu. Do I even need to explain what he can do? You get hit once and you get hit by combos forever. He can land super easy, probably has the best recovery in the game, impossible to edge guard, real no problem killing because he has so many different kill confirms, no lag on his moves, and the only department he marginally lacks in is his damage. But even then, it's not terrible. 
Now the Luigi Discord were a bunch of hex about the survey. Most of them just rated his move set as a 1, so I'm disregarding it. He got subpar damage, has trouble making it back to stage, is pretty floaty and slow in the air. He does have a good throw combo game, just don't get grabbed by Luigi and he's not that good. I don't think he has a very hard time killing, he can spam pretty well, so no complaints on frame David. Now Ness, in my opinion, is pretty good in this game. His air mobility is insane with lingering extended hitboxes, can keep people in disadvantage pretty easily. He does high damage from pretty good combos. Yo-Yo on ledge pretty much voids some characters' recoveries, no problem killing at all, throw kills, tilt kills, aerial kills, and so on. And surprisingly, little no, little to no lag on his moves. Only department he lacks in is recovery. You hit him before he hits himself and he's dead. We all love Captain Falcon. He does pretty good damage and has his signature combo game. Problem is he has a bad disadvantage and a good amount of lag on his moves. He can also have trouble killing a bit, because he has a lot of startup and a lot of end lag on his moves. He has a mediocre recovery at best, but we all love him still. Nothing beats a... Well, I'll just show you. Now for the puff. Julie Puff, in my opinion, has more tools that people give her credit for. She has rest confirms and some pretty insane damage from her combo game. She has a non-existent disadvantage state and as well has no trouble getting back to stage. She does low-ish damage if she's not an advantage, but she also dies very early. So that's going to do for this video, guys. If this video somehow takes off and people start using my system, then I will move on to the melee characters. So this is what my tier list looks like so far. Looking pretty good to my standards. Let me know your list by sending me them on Twitter in the description. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. Check out my other Smash Bros. videos in my Smash Bros. Ultimate playlist, and I'll see you guys in the next one.